let's wait for the that everybody joins. So give me a comment who is there today. So let's wait for one more minute and then we can start today's show. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to the Monday Nights with Mohit Kamath. And every Monday at 8 p.m. sharp, I go live. I do a live stream where we can talk about certain topics which I choose or which you suggest. And then we wish, and then we all learn uh, through each other. So I also uh, get to learn a lot from you guys. So I hope you learn too. So as you can see, uh, today's topic, we have two topics. I think this is one of the fantastic, one more fantastic uh, week in Indian badminton. I would say that because we have uh, we have had a couple of more, a couple of more uh, good weeks in Indian badminton all throughout 2022 year. And this, I think, this might not be the final one, but this is, I think, one ahead than the finals or one. How 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 do you say that? Now one more left, I think, because World Tour Finals, HS Pranoy. So we have the second topic of, uh, you know, World Tour Finals, BWF World Tour Finals. And he's the only Indian in men's singles to compete in the World Tour Finals of 2022 here. And the first topic is, you know, um, India has created history for the first time. And Unnati Huda has secured silver medal in under-17 Badminton Asia Sub-Junior Championships 2022, which was held in Thailand last week and yesterday she played that finals isn't it great it's absolutely great and let's see the first commenter who is coming i have made some comment hello welcome to monday nights come to monday nights oh sorry there was a typo welcome to monday nights we have our first guest on our show is anusha shanbag that's my wifey happy monday you know you are whistling that's great so let me know who who else has come if you have any difficulty looking at my um, frame, I can take out. Uh, I can take out um, the you know the frame. This was I was just you know trying to do some stuff and uh, learning new things. So that's how for me it made a difference. Okay, is the music completely dropped? Is it? No. 
it just started it just started okay without wasting any much of the time let's get into the show okay so <clears throat> lot of good news right lots and lots of uh, good news unnati huda and six other indians win at badminton asia junior championships 2022 it's sub junior championships isn't it great six medals in the asian continental badminton championships that's great that's really great great and this is a kind of uh, uh, a satisfaction i would say as an indian as a badminton player a fellow badminton player i'm a badminton coach as well so i i really feel proud i always feel proud any indian who performs at the international stage and get laurels for our country i think that is the highest joy anybody can have uh, in sports right so <clears throat> i will share my screen and let's quickly go through the news we have beast slayer 980 wow what a name beast slayer i think you should come once uh, to my home because there is one or two beasts in the back yeah in the backyard it's kind of a, mm -hmm. a small jungle here and there are a lot of uh, beasts but there are two beasts which is really you know bugging us and disturbing us uh, throughout uh, the evening so please come and slay the beast <laughs> just kidding okay so <clears throat> you can keep commenting you can talk you can ask questions we can share different things if you have a few um, you know inputs about the today's topic remember you know today's topic is the future of indian junior badminton sub junior badminton and then hs pranoy playing world tour finals uh, he's the only indian by the way uh, in men's singles so we can discuss we can talk we can you know uh, do all sort of stuff in this monday night show <sighs> let me see who else has come it's beat slayer as we are in the show let me um, you know share the screen to of the press so top seed unnati started a campaign in dominating fashion as seven indians won their matches at the badminton asia junior uh, sub junior championships 2022 in nonthaburi thailand on tuesday um let's not go too deep into this so there is uh, anmol kharb who won uh, her matches then sampriti pal faced a tough challenge in women singles and there are so many players who played really really well so let's go with the uh, you know the medal uh, tally i'll quickly take you guys to the twitter the twitter handle of uh, bai uh, bai BAI Media it's not badminton association of india it's BAI Media okay so thanks uh, BAI uh, for the photos you know i have uh, taken the photos so the picture credit is uh, with badminton association of india beast slayer draws of world tour finals have come out yes we will check that in our second topic Haobam Thoytil saying hello Haobam uh sorry Haobam Haobam I don't know how to pronounce uh, it correctly in your accent I'm really sorry if I have not done it rightly Haobam Thoythoy Singh welcome to the show I think I have seen you for the first time uh, please make sure subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, you know subscribe like and share that's very important Okay let's go to Twitter So this is the tweet badminton asia under 17 as you can see um yeah so badminton asia under 17 and under 15 junior championships 2022 under 17 unnati is silver and arsh and sans sanskar are bronze medal there are two chill, that there are two people who have won bronze medal under 15 anish thopanni which is men singles under 15 and then a bronze medal to gnana dattu and uh, bronze medal to two of the boys in under 15 boys doubles bjorn and atish proud of you champs and this is from uh, the president himant bishu sharma you can see um, you know uh, unati best unati huda standing here 
uh, on the podium. Then we have our bronze, our silver medalists. Um, you know, uh, who are the silver medalists? Indians. Then we have, uh, you know, Anish Thopani. Then we have bronze medalist Nana, uh, Bo- John, sorry, Bjorn and Atish. So this is from the BI. Very, very proud. Very, very proud of our Indian team. You know, really, I am very, very proud. I'm so proud that I just can't tell you how proud I am. You know, thank you, Anusha Shanbag, for giving us a like on Facebook. You know, uh, let's also quickly go through the um, some of the history of badminton Asia Junior Championship. Let's let's you know find out you know who has won before uh, in the previous years. Where was the exact times? Uh, what do you call it? Timeline or maybe the section of years where we started shining in badminton Asia Junior Championships? Okay. Okay, Wikipedia is a great, you know, um, great place to find out. Okay, so this is the team competition. Um, Youth Championships, as you can see here, Youth Championships, Badminton Asia Under-17. You know, uh, these are the places which has been held before and it is never held in India. And this time it was Nontaburi, Thailand. And individual competition under 15 you know, you can see it has been started from 2006 onwards. And we have under 15 players. Cyril Verma is an Indian badminton player. He was the silver medalist at 2015 World Junior Championships. Absolutely right. Cyril Verma, Verma was a, he, had, he has reached, you know, world number one in under 15 uh, category, boys singles category. And he has won the prestigious Badminton Asia Junior Championships under 15 category. Then we have uh, the next, if you can see here, we have 2017. Uh, it was silver medal by Samia Imad Faruqi. And then Meghna Reddy and Tasneem Mir the followed year in uh, women's doubles. Then <coughs> followed year 2019, it's Tasneem Mir. And then we have three years of gap, almost two years of gap. 2020 and 2021. I think because of the COVID, we, it couldn't happen. Now in 2022... Under 17, we also have, you know, it's so strange. Um, in the year 2013, you can see MR Arjun and Chirak Shetty, you know, the fire Shetty as he's been called, nicknamed. And then just in two years, 2015, Krishna Prasad Garga and Ranki Reddy, Satik Sairaj Ranki Reddy won uh, the gold medal in under 17 voice doubles. As we can come down, you know, there is a... Um, you know, this is an interesting thing who has won Asian Junior Championships and then went on to become Asian Championships. I think men's singles, Chen Hong, 97, he became Junior Champion and then a Senior Champion in 1999, just in two years. Uh, just in two years. Men's singles, 97, and then in three years, they have become. So if you see uh, 98, 2001, 99, 2002, like this, we have a lot of players, you know, in the gap of just three years. Do you think, you know, stay with me here. So, do you think a person who becomes a champion or who is in the finalist or who is in the podium, standing today in the podium, so they have more and more chances or high chances to be, you know, in seniors event in Asian Championships? Is that so? Just comment below if you know. I know this, you know, it's very difficult. um, It's very, very difficult to, um, you know, anticipate that a junior champion will always become a senior champion. No, that's not true. We have Kidambi Srikanth who was not a junior champion, but yet became world number one. And there are many, 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 many stories like this. In 2000, uh, na- sorry, in 1996, if you see Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, who is the uh, uh, Olympic champion, right? So he was never a junior player and he won Olympic championships at the age of 36, so late. What if Paul Eric would have given up at the age of 20 saying, I'm not a junior champion? What if he would have given up saying, I'm 25, I've still not won an Olympics? What if it was 28, 30, 32, 35? He could have easily given up, right? But he didn't give up. That's what sport teaches you. You know, perseverance and constantly hanging on 
and you know not giving up until you make it it's like make it till you do it toy toy saying good discussion thank you um, thank you for you know joining you can keep asking more questions or you know whatever in, inputs you have we can discuss on that beach layer lakshwan bronze in 2018 absolutely and we have youth commonwealth games we have youth world championships right so that is little different as you can see um yeah so you can see a lot of people chen long 2017 but yeah 10 years later wang yi han 5 years later ma jin 5 years later uh like that you can see uh, so many players linear and atse 4 years lindan just sorry lindan was not so close see this is an another example 10 years it takes 10 years 10 11 and he has just dominated like that not so many players let's see who do you think according to uh, this data who do you think indian players can make the podium finish in less than 3 to 5 years comment down below okay so that's my prediction today so before we move up the topic in less than 2 to 3 minutes let's discuss more about you know asian junior championship so what could be the future of indian championships now you know this is one of the most powerful continent in the world for badminton players isn't it so if you see the people the players in all categories the team championships in all categories has the highest number of medals won by the asians including world championships in and uh, thomas and uber cup sudirman cup if you see asians are the ones who has won maximum right so having said that when we gauge or when we anticipate that you know if someone is going to might be an asian junior champion and he has more chances according to statistical data what we have gathered in google or wikipedia according to that the next big star from asia or the next big star in the world could be an asian so what do you think i think it's 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 going to happen and and we as indian nation as indian badminton nation is really strong on the world badminton map india has one of the best you know players in all the categories like men singles men doubles women singles women doubles and you know uh, even mixed doubles we have fantastic category and uh, fantastic you know grip on the world badminton map and this will even go f- farther and farther you know it's it's simply amazing i would say we are at the we are at the peak and the best uh, highest level i think all time all time we are at the highest level I think we have a good future in men singles as many of them just need a breakthrough in the upcoming tournaments absolutely right and and to be that kind of consistent uh, in all the big matches is not easy I think I think it's not only uh, I feel it's not only the physical side but it's also the psychological side the hunger the passion the uh, the smartness doing the right things at the right time and you know um, um, analyzing your opponent each opponent and then adapting to those situations different conditions like when you play in indonesia it's crazily different because the kind of energy that stadium brings the people of indonesia the crazy people i love indonesians um so that to play that and to play that to play in that conditions and to play in 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 you know such a variety of you know uh, different different uh, stadiums i think you need a level of experience to consistently perform in that so yes i agree with you beat slayer uh, beast slayer uh, we will have a good future in men singles but you know the the thing is um, sorry let me take the center yeah so the thing is you know beat slayer uh, we are seeing a lot of good results in men's doubles and women's doubles too if you see gayatri and the other partner they're doing extremely well and uh, after pv sindhu we might see a small gap but you never know some player might really you know come up like this it's just a matter of time and even <coughs> and even mixed doubles right so uh, there are a lot of players uh, in under 17 and under 15 i think we need a right kind of exposure when i say exposure if a top 20 players would get constantly uh, you know playing under the pressure playing under the circumstances of you know the world badminton i think they if they really do well there 
in the international uh, tournaments and they get the exposure to go and play those players i think they we really have a good future in all five divisions i think we should not be surprised that you know in another 10 to 15 years we might win olympic medals in all events you know bronze um, gold and and silver there is a i think there is an enormous effort put by the government sai uh, good coaches coaching uh, academies like prakash padukone go pitch in the academy and many 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 academies which will come in future and i think you can see one big example like this which is unnati huda you know we have never heard uh, his coach's name i have never i had never heard his uh, her coach's name i mean um and there is one player from that particular region right so haryana amazing and this is something i really like it toy toy singh india will be the powerhouse of badminton for upcoming years i don't doubt a uh, dot to sunil saini namaskar sunil saini uh, kaise hai aap we have i hi i wish akshay hello mohit bhia hello akshay i hope you are doing well so not wasting much time let's jump on and hop on to uh, the next topic which is hs pranoy i've had some good matches with hs pranoy one uh, i won one match against him in an all india semi finals and i've lost i think three matches with him he was really good he was really tough to play because there is kind of an attack which keeps coming at you and then there is a slight deception from the net you will have to manage that and you have to keep you know putting him under the neutral pace and then he you have to return all his attacks so that's where i think is the right way right way would be at that time to play with uh, hs pranoy now he is completely different player the last two years his maturity level on court on decision making of uh, uh, you know certain strokes in big rallies with big players has been tremendous and that's the result you can see in two years he has you know being consistent in the top 10 to 20 uh, ranking okay so let's go to the hs pranoy topic I'm not able to hear the sound of music. Are you able to hear the sound? You want me to increase the sound? This should be okay, right? Not so disturbing. Okay. And we'll also go to the draw. Um, draw. Okay. B W F. There's a different accent to say. You know, badminton. It's not badminton. It's badminton. The badminton championships. Okay, we have the draw. Oh, Manx Dawes. Oh, he's the only one who is carrying the hope. He's the only one. Manx singles. <clears throat> so, Pranoy has a good movement of his racket. Can you be more specific, Beast Slayer? Beast Slayer 980. Because I have, I did not understand what exactly is the movement. Do you mean his positioning of his hand towards the rallies and carrying a right posture? This is. Are you talking about that, or is it something different? So I'll also, um, you know, share the screen for the draw. No, I'm not going to pay anything. Okay. Is it okay? There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
okay as you can see here okay let me see if i can do this no it's not good okay so let's go with the news <clears throat> so as you can see group a and group b victor axelson group a has victor axelson noi kodai naroka and lu guangzu and group b we have chao tian chen Jonathan Christie, Lokin Eve, and Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. That's a tight pack, right? I think every human being who plays badminton and who has this enthusiasm to see the highest level of badminton game, they have to go and watch World Tour Finals. It will be amazing because the live, the live scene when you watch them move around swiftly and those smashes. those dives and you know that that intelligence in in less than microsecond the way they play is exceptional and especially uh, i'm sorry for all men singles and other events men's doubles is the most beautiful game on earth because you'll always you know if you see men's doubles the highest level of badminton it's so fast to your eye i mean your eyeballs are moving at a very rampant speed and you'll be like so stressed you know uh, all, all the time your eyeballs are moving here and there it's it's really an eyeball exercise right so that's why you'll have an healthy eye if you play badminton and you always have to you know connect your uh, what do you call it uh, the vigyanamaya kosha the the sixth sense where you have to anticipate analyze regulate understand you have to keep the shuttle in the orbit do not let it fall down in that you have to use so many strategies and tactics who badminton players are really brilliant and intelligent If you are just in badminton, that's okay. You're, I mean, that's the thing. You are always uh, on the winning side. So if you see here, Lokinev uh, and Anthony Sinisuka, I think they'll have the fantastic match because you know these these four players, you know, Chao Ting Chen, all are Asians, and we have only one player from Denmark, Victor Axelsen. One is to seven. I mean, I'm not doing that bifurcation, but I'm just saying that their identity, where where do they belong to? And sometimes it, it looks like you know, Victor alone is enough for all these seven masters in badminton. So let's also watch other events. If you see, uh, you know, Chen Yufei, Anse Yang, Akane Yamaguchi, Gregoria, Mariska. Tunjung and Taipei and the, all are Asians. Oh my God, Rachanok in Tanan, Busanan, Busanan, Ong Bam Rang Pham. Tongue twisting names, right? And then we have women's doubles. Uh, 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 no Indians. We have men's doubles. Indonesia, Malaysia, Japan, Korea, Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Denmark. One Danish player. Then we have mixed doubles: China, Malaysia, France. We have one French players: Tom Gickel and Delphine Delrio. Yeah, one Dan- Danish player. Where was this women's women's player? Women singles. Okay, we don't have Indian. So that was the thing, you know. <clears throat> so coming back to HS Pranoy, uh, we will also go and uh, try and go to uh, you know uh, players. Let's go to players. Noi. Let's go to his statistics, right? So he is world ranked number twelve, and by the way, Lakshya Sen is ranked number six. But <coughs> excuse me. So, but you know, the World Tour Finals, the Super Series events, and the World Tour rank is number three for HS Pranoy. That's the highest. You know, as you can see. Um, What all tournaments he has played? We can see so many tournament, you know, position round number thirty-two, and let's see the statistics. Current rank is twelve. Total weeks, world ranking. So this is something very interesting, right? I don't know whether you can, you guys can see this. This is very, very interesting. Um, okay, how to do that? So let me uh, close this overlay. Yeah, so there you can see. 
okay so the one is world tour ranking the the, the the black one which you can see here which i'm pointing my mouse is pointing pointing so that's world tour ranking and the one here red is the world ranking right so this is on the 2022 um uh, one so if you see the first month and then he had a dip in the june then he uplifted himself and from there it's all above 13 and 13 and 13 and then he became world number 12. and now if we go down if you see his career growth and before 2012, he was just climbing up. And from there, I think this is where, you know, the world number, he was in top 50 at this time, 2012. And then he has been always on the top. That's a great career graph from HS Panoy. What do you think so about HS Panoy? Hello, Yurat Singh, Parmar. What is your opinion about luxurious age fraud FIR? Uh, well, uh, I don't think so it has been proven see I'll, I'll, I'll give you my uh, perspective on the age fraud okay first things first now he's playing men's doesn't matter okay it's, it it just doesn't matter he's bringing laurels to country that's what matters to me now if we go back with you know a, a thought process that what if he is guilty if, if we found out that you know if he has done it what if it is guilty then definitely the law is there it it is a punishable offense and that will be taken care of. and now uh, until now it has not been proved has been you know the delegations has been come before what they do is you know there is a medical test where you do a bone marrow test is one thing and they see the size of your uh, wrist and you know, i don't have so much of information on that but you know when you do that it cannot give you the exact date and time and year it will give you a six months pre of the date and, and six months uh, ahead of it. So somewhere around one year, uh, it might have happened, right? If they have done it, but you know, without knowing it, without getting the right news from the right channel, maybe from their parents or maybe from Lakshisen itself, until then it is just a noise and, and it doesn't matter what kind of, uh, you know, opinion other people have. And, you know, <clears throat> and now he is very uh, famous, right? So he's in the limelight and I, I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes and, you know, re-scratches and, you know, re-does it again and again just for the sake of publicity or something like that. But this is my opinion on uh, the topic, Yuraj. But I, I feel it doesn't matter right now. If 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 someone wants to take it back uh, to the legal case, of course, they have to do it. If uh, Lakshya Sain hasn't done that, I feel he hasn't done it. But if it is happened, then I think law is there to take care and that will be a significant example. Good question, uh, Yuraj. So that's the career graph if you can see here. So, uh, so we are done with the topic today. So let me see if I can get some more questions. So I'll be here for another uh, four more minutes. So you can ask any questions if you have guys. Shashikant Rao. Thank you Shashikant Rao for the wonderful like. Please subscribe and like and share my channel. If uh, you have not done it yet and like, definitely like it because it will help my, it will help me in the algorithm. YouTube algorithm. Let me know if you have any questions. So, um, if you don't have any questions, we can move on and we can come to the end of this show today. Yeah, so i uh, just like to discuss again on the Beast Slayer 980. 
I think we have a good future in men's singles as many of them just need a break through. Absolutely. So, you know, that's, that break is very, very important. Sometimes, that, as I told you, as, a, as I've given you the example of, you know, Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, Larson, who won the Olympics at the age of 36, as per the wiki data. And he um, has hung on till he has done it, right? So, like that, maybe Lakshya Sain got it at a very early age, but somebody will get it at little later stages, like H.S. is I think, 26 or 28. Um, so, it's very important. I also remember, you know, uh, Lakshya Sain, um, uh, sorry, H.S. Pranoy played a fantastic match in the reverse singles in Thomas Cup when we won it. He really rocked it, right? The strategy he used was absolutely great. Absolutely great. So, Yuraj Singh Parmar, if there is a selection tournament happen and top four or semi finalist players selected, if there is a selection tournament happen and top four or semi finalist players selected for for uh, is it for World Tour finals or maybe the entry from India? I think the selection process is completely different. It is on the ranking, the points-based uh, system, and whoever has more points by participating in tournaments, <clears throat> so maybe they have it. So, which one are you talking about, Yuraj? Uh, the trials are there for selection. I'm not familiar with your question, Yuraj. Uh, which trials are there for selections? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to also find out, you know, uh, world tour um, rules and regulations. Hello, Sarvesh Pandey. You always come like you're a police. I think you're a policeman. You always come in the end of the show. I was just about to wind up, Sarvesh. World Tour Finals is shifted to Thailand from China. Yeah, so they have ultimately found out a new kind of coronavirus, and there is a lots and lots of uh, cases in uh, China. So that's the reason they have shifted it to uh, Thailand. It's a communist country, right? So, government holds a lot of control over their, um, over their people. So, you can see a lot of videos in Twitter or maybe in online on, uh, on social media that, you know, people are just the doctors and what you call them warriors, COVID warriors just, you know, barge into the houses. They, they break the doors and they get in and they take them to the um, quarantine. Uh, halls, the big quarantine halls. So that's the reason, you know, uh, it's not safe for the players to go uh, travel to China at the moment. <coughs> I'll be taking last two questions and then we'll have to wind up the show. So some of you might not have joined me last time. So I was just trying to inquire and survey, uh, you know, inquire and survey that, you know, um, how about I do, uh, um, how about, you know, I do uh, not the Monday special, but special episodes. So I would like to come up with some of, some kind of special episodes, which is not only, um, you know, uh, it is, which is not only on Mondays. So I thought of, you know, uh, randomly do it on just pick a topic and start doing a live stream and have some guests on that. 
from January onwards because I just wanted to try out new things. Or or if you say that you know no stick on to Monday nights with Mohit and we are okay with it. So I think that's also wonderful. So let me know your thoughts on this. <clears throat> Why I chose Monday, you know, because you know everybody has their own agenda. Um, agendas or they have they might be traveling on saturdays or sundays a lot of people might not be able to you know give that focus because i primarily wanted to drive the uh, educational content to it and i also wanted to learn so that i want your interaction based on comments so having said that you know i that's the reason i got into monday nights with mohit i thought that mondays are the ones where you start your week for your work or your studies if you're a student or a coaching or a badminton coaching or a whatever it is so you're doing and that's the time 8 to 9 typically you have your dinner or you have your free time pre dinner and i thought to connect at that time you can also dm me if not now you can go to um, <coughs> you know my instagram page or maybe facebook page facebook account and you can message me so sarvesh yes i completely forgot about your giveaway i will do that this week Sorry for the delay. I'll be taking the last question. Oh, oh. Yeah, Sarvesh. Yeah, please try to come at three o'clock sharp. I will take your attendance from next time. <laughs> Yuvraj Singh Parmar, why in any badminton academy there is only one day of games day? I think of, I think it should be twenty two to three or four days at least. Wow, that's a great question. Right, so we all follow, uh, you know, a traditional method of coaching. You all have followed the tra- traditional method of coaching, right? That's a great question, Yura. Thank you. So, <clears throat> let me answer that. Why any badminton academy has only one games day, which is on Wednesday in your case, but most of the academies are either Fridays or Saturdays, which is kind of the end of uh, you know the week. end of the week so you have to play games so this is i think very logical to you know have an argument yuraj that you know um, you focus on a lot of drills and you are you use your body energy your psychological energy and maybe you are like you have spent around 70% or maybe 50% or even beyond that beyond 70% and then when you come for the games you are like using only 30 30% of it fantastic question right so that logically sets you in a way that let me play more games it's like you know telling let me take more question answers uh, or previous year or previous tests question so that i get familiar how to answer the question so this is something logical but there is there are multiple perspectives to it but when you ask me this question i would say that how do you progress you know in game there are four different things you know technical tactical uh, tactic strategy your fitness <clears throat> and your psychological aspect so when you consider this in the game you never you don't know that you know how the things might happen you might calculate x stuff but there might be y stuff and this is something happens in tournament you are absolutely clueless that how it can come unless you have a game plan or strategy and then uh, you can anticipate your opponent based on his analytics or her analytics right so having said that when you analyze when you uh, you know play games a lot of times so you're always trained in such a way that you're only playing but the real progress happens in two things one build a routine where you develop muscle memory let's say for example forehand cross drop so you you know do the drills on forehand cross drop when the shuttle comes from the lobby straight lobby forehand cross drop cross lobby forehand cross drop straight lift forehand cross drop so when you do a multiple variety of <coughs> strokes and learn that forehand cross drop and you keep doing it over and over and again and over and over and over and over there your mind you know registers 
that length and breadth and timing that speed that accuracy all these things are built you know on that routine and that repetition and once you do that it becomes automatic you know it drives that automaticity during the play uh, 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 game stage and that is why they say you know you have to focus on this is something i do the fresh days like mondays if there are no tournaments in the in this week or followed week or the next week or next month in the periodization which is a macro cycle periodization that particular phase of what they are if you are under 13 it's different under 15 it's different senior it's different so individually what they have to develop i would prefer that you know they have to learn that skills or techniques uh on the attacking side because if they are fresh they learn to attack because if you see most of the games right now uh, uh the way the game is played is more on the attacking style right there are some yes arguably like uh, kento momoto he has his own attacking uh, attacking style where they say you know defense is the best attack so his defense itself is uh, attacking attack mode so uh, if you are on the fresh side on monday it's better according to me this is just my opinion according to me it's better to work on the highest strength of you which is you know attacking learn to hit harder move faster because you're fresh and then gradually you know shift it to towards skill and skill and skill then slowly standing not moving much like you know if you if you're training weekly five days <clears throat> so the typically sessions would be monday full day and then tuesday full day and then wednesday one session where it could be games or maybe some skill work and then thursday again you have a half day of break for wednesday you have, you have to give your body time to recover and then maybe thursday work on the skill part more not on the attacking completely but something you know hybrid of skill and attacking maybe of skill and uh, uh, using length and slowing down and different kind of games like conditional games don't play in the four uh, in, in the one in, in the, on the forehand side don't you know you cannot uh, hit a smash or you cannot you know uh, keep it on the net or maybe no tapping uh, near the ne- uh, near the net so such kind of intellectual um, you know com- combined way of games if you play i think that's that's how you develop and uh, that's the part of the development and then you have one day which you can really focus on the game day but as you're saying uh, yuvraj i have really thought about it and when there are matches when there are more matches i would like to put more you know games and more strategical tactical um you know you know uh, drills uh, into the <coughs> sorry into the players uh, routines wonderful question you know thank you yuvraj i would give a five star for you for this question i hope i've answered that to you think but what do you think uh my question would be why why do you want 3 4 days in in at least in games what makes you do that you <laughs> know my question to you yeah you raj you're there why my question is why any badminton academy has to keep games for 2 3 or 4 days why not only one day my question to you so if you are unable to answer this we will have to come to the end of the show and i have a good surprise i made a nice thank you message for all of you guys that's a video i'll be playing in another 30 seconds so the best in the best week in december 2022 for indian badminton and that's last week because we have won seven medals <coughs> sorry six medals uh, in in the finals of uh, badminton asia sub junior champion asian championships 2022 that's a great news that's a great news and we have hs pranoy from india carrying the only guy the only person the only player from indian badminton to carry our hopes in the world tour finals i hope god give gives him enough strength and courage and boldness and whatever he could think of to make that tournament a successful tournament for him having said that uh because i think because i think this is very interesting you know i'm trying to end up and wind up but yuvraj is trying to you know uh, put it across as soon as possible come on yuvraj you need to be faster
बिकॉज आई थिंक येस बिकॉज यू थिंक वॉट Because you think, ten more seconds, you Raj. Then I have to close the show. Because I can't apply the drills or something that I learn in training sessions on games. So then I think you will have to work on your consciousness. You have to work on to be on in the present. Just maybe not think anything. Just follow the shuttle where it goes. So I think then you can find that courage, or you can apply. on the drills having said that what thank you for wonderful questions yuvraj and thank you all for coming tonight for monday nights with mohit on the episode number 51 and all of you have cool cool week ahead and all of you have a wonderful and strong and strong and wonderful tuesdays to sundays ahead and until then see you in the next monday night show on 52nd episode on december 2022 Thank you.